Hey everyone, my name is Casey Rain and we are the Violet Reality. It is officially September the 25th. And that means today is the release day for the thing we've all been waiting for, the dream we've all dreamed of. Sign of the Times Deluxe Edition from the Prince Estate and Warner Records. Hours just arrived, the CD box set and the vinyl box set. And so we decided that ahead of sinking into all the amazing content on this set, we just provide a quick unboxing. And in case you missed it, we are running a massive, massive contest giveaway where we are giving away a copy of Sign of the Times Deluxe, the CD and DVD set, the upcoming issue of Rolling Stone Germany, October, which has a seven inch Prince cover mount vinyl and a set of Prince Sign of the Times pins from 1999 art. You can go to thevioletreality.com and you will see all the details of the competition and how to enter right at the top of the page. So if you're not interested in seeing the set in its entirety, what it looks like, Stop watching this video now. If you are, let's do this. Ooh, what a beast. There's some serious weight in this box. Um, here we go. This is gonna be the vinyl box set, Sign of the Times Deluxe inside here. Let's get this thing open. Am I going to remove this from the box? Okay. Um, wow. This is definitely the biggest box set of, I think, anything I own. Uh, holy crap. There we have it. This is just an incredible, incredible set. I mean, just the heft of it alone tells you that this is gonna be amazing. So let's try and flip it over. So on the back, on the back we have this slip of paper, which tells you the track list, 13 LPs and one DVD. So the first LP, well, the first two LPs is the album remaster. Then the second two LPs are the edits and mixes. So 12 inch mixes, etc., etc. edits, dub versions. Then the next set of, how many vinyls is the vault stuff? So, okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six of the vinyl, 12 inch vinyl discs are of the vault tracks. And then that's record five through to record 10. And records 11 and 12 and 13 are the live audio, live in Utrecht, uh, 20th of June, 1987. And then we've got the DVD live at Paisley Park 31st of December 87, which I know lots of you were watching on YouTube with us last night. So let's open this thing up. Um, just as an aside, I kind of dislike the style of having this like slip of paper, because if you completely like take off all the shrink wrap, where does the paper go? That's the question. I much prefer it much, I like it much better when this, for example, would be just like printed on the back of the box, but you know, it is what it is. But because of that, I'm gonna try and get the inside out while the shrink wrap stays on. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but we'll give it a try. on yeah the other thing with the shrink wrap is that the stickers are on the shrink wrap so I also like to keep those stickers but it's difficult 
I'm gonna have to trim. Now it just looks messy, I'm gonna have to trim that. Okay, so we have got the iconic iconography from Sign of the Times here on this peach and black. That is cool. We have let's just stand it up for you. So you can see there that you've got we're gonna take out the things one by one. Let's just put that there. So first we have the book. This 120 page coffee table book. Uh, I'm really gonna spend some time digging into this. I can't wait. So we're gonna open it up. And I mean, I'm not gonna show you the whole book because that would take ages, but here you can see we've got Forward by Lenny Kravitz. Uh, we've got stuff from Dave Chappelle and so many more people. Uh, just give you a flick through of the first few pages. And, and this is 120 pages long, so it goes on. Uh, it's a huge amount of detail. Photos, unreleased photos from Jeff Katz, uh, etc. And then here you've got stuff about each of the songs and pictures. I mean, it's just a, an astonishing, astonishing amount of content. Um, you really, really have to give the Prince Estate credit for making this a comprehensive set. I mean, we mentioned before that, if you remember when we did our, uh, the whole thing about 1999 Deluxe last year, I felt like it was a comprehensive set. Uh, aside from, I felt extra lovable and lust you always should have been included. Now, with the sheer amount of content from the Sign of the Times era, you've got Dream Factory and Camille and um, Crystal Ball, the, the three disc set that, you know, start, started out, the three disc set that this album started out as before it was pared down to Sign of the Times, uh, you've just got an incredible amount of content there. And I think with this one, there's going to be some discussion about whether it is truly comprehensive or not. Maybe there's a handful of things that could have been on there that aren't on there. Maybe there's some stuff that, you know, other people would have preferred to see on there rather than what's on there. But just with the sheer amount of it, honestly, that feels like just nitpicking. Um, I cannot imagine that anyone would be disappointed with this set. Let's put it that way, in terms of filling out the era from a completist perspective. I guess you could say that um, some people would have liked to see the Sign of the Times concert film included, but as the estate explained, there are so many rights issues with that and different companies owning the rights to it in different territories that they weren't able to square that up. And that's fine. Um, you know, there are several re-releases of Sign of the Times, the film in different territories on Blu-ray and etc. cetera. Um, so I, I for one actually prefer that they found a completely uh, new, previously unreleased DVD. Of course, you know, it had been bootlegged over the years, but to see that New Year's show get an official release is amazing. So actually, if it came down to including the Sign of the Times film or the New Year's show, I'm personally glad that the New Year's show is what, what we got. Anyway, back to the unboxing. So here we have the original album, remastered. Uh, so the original album, remastered, is here. Quality again is just absolutely just stunning. Um, then here we have single mixes and edits. So this one we can actually open up, see some amazing pictures um, scanned from personal collections. And then track list on the back. The third set is Vault Tracks Part 1. Uh, you can open this up and you can see we've got pictures of the reels and the real info box um, from the original tapes. And then on the back, the track list. Okay, Vault Tracks 2. Okay. 
or the same tapes, pictures, session info. Love the picture that they used for this one. Absolutely amazing. Bolt tracks three. There is a helicopter outside. Somebody trying to steal my sign of the times deluxe. Here we have the live audio, live in Utrecht. And this feels very, very weighty because it's a gatefold. So it actually unfolds twice like that. And, uh, and that's it. The DVD would be in here as well, I suppose. So there you have it. I'm going to put this back into the box the way that it came. I'm going to spend some time later going through that amazing book. get this back into the casing. So let's just put that to the side. And now we're going to look at the CD version. So let's do that. Now here's the interesting thing, you can see that the CD set is the same dimensions except for the depth as the vinyl set. So we can actually put those on top of each other. And the reason for that is because of the book. So the book is the same size um, no matter if you get the vinyl set or the CD set. Um, hey, this is interesting, I appear to have been sent the French version of the CD set because the sticker is in French. Interesting. I mean, I ordered it from the UK, so I don't know how that happened, but it is what it is. So, again, on the back, same thing with the paper. Gonna try to Keep the shrink wrap on because of the paper and the stickers. Okay, so. So for the CD version, it's basically the book, but the CDs, the actual discs are contained within the packaging of the book. So here we go. So if you fold the book all the way to the back, you can see that this is where the discs are located. And aside from that, basically you've got the same contents of the book. I'm really glad that they made the choice to make the book the same, no matter if you got the CD set or the vinyl set. If you remember last year, the box set for 1999 Deluxe was like CD sized, like a regular CD size, but like thicker. So the book that you got with it was much smaller compared to what you got with the vinyl. So I think this choice of making the dimensions the same across the CD and the vinyl version is a great choice. Um, it definitely feels like there's more to unpack with the vinyl set because you have each separate vinyl, uh, all 13 of them, um, compared to like, the CD and DVD set of just having the book and then all the discs be individually contained in the back. Like I kind of would have liked to have seen like each disc have like a mini kind of sleeve as well, like they did with 1999 Deluxe. But I can see how that's kind of difficult to pull off that and have the, the book be the same size and everything as well. You're working with lots of different dimensions. Um, but either way, I think again, that's just me nitpicking and the set is still absolutely stunning. There's nothing else to say other than that it's just fantastic. Massive, massive props to the Prince Estate. We're gonna take some serious time to go through the book, go through the, all the songs, go through the content, 
Uh, of course, we watched the, the DVD on YouTube last night. Uh, absolutely amazing. Just, if you can, order this set. And if you can order the vinyl set and you listen to vinyl or you collect vinyl, and then I, I would definitely say it is worth it. But either version is definitely worth it. Um, and if you can afford it at this moment in time, then enter our competition on thevioletreality.com where you can win the CD and DVD set plus a bunch more cool sign of the time stuff. All right, that's it for the unboxing. Cut back to myself. That was it, the exclusive unboxing from The Violet Reality on the Sign of the Times Super Deluxe set. Hope you enjoyed that. Have you bought a copy of the set? If so, let us know in the comments. And if you haven't received it yet, let us know what you're most looking forward to checking out from the set. Is it the remaster? Is it the outtakes? Is it the live DVD? Is it the live audio? Is it the book? There's just so much in this set to explore. Now, don't forget, we've got our contest running. Check out thevioletreality.com where you can win a copy of Sign of the Time Super Deluxe, a copy of the German Rolling Stone issue from next month with the Prince Covermount vinyl and 1999's new set of Sign of the Times pins. Thevioletreality.com is where you can go to find out how to enter the contest. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications. We'll catch you next time. Peace and be wild. Hey, St. Paul here. Make sure you go subscribe to The Violet Reality, the funkiest channel on YouTube.